During the third hit of Chinchi's basic attack, repeatedly press basic attack to keep a, a continuous attack. Stop. Oh, you can't hold it? I thought you could hold it. And Chinchi will automatically follow up with the fourth hit of her attack. Oh. And she activates a skill and deals electric damage. She'll accumulate flash connect voltage. Okay, great. When using a move that uh, deals electric damage, flash connect is accumulated. Great. Wait. Yeah, this thing. Oh, and that's the fourth hit when you let go of it. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, there's that. Okay, that's her charge attack. Boom, hold attack. It's just that. And then there's this attack. Cute. If I just hold it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, let's do this. One, two, three. One, two, three, just keep spamming it. I can just use this infinite amount of times, and when it and when it charges all the way yellow, what do you do? Oh, I wish I could just do it infinite. That makes her kind of broken, because she built- she, if you build her to build up days, you can just make her, like, daze an enemy so quickly this way. And the only thing that could really stop her, in my head, is just when you're fighting multiple enemies. So like, if you're fighting a boss, just spam that until you daze them, and then do your chain attack and you're, and you're good. All you have to worry about is dodging their attack. So if it's a, 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 an enemy or a boss or whatever that has like really- that likes to spam attacks a lot, then you're in trouble. But there isn't many of those, right? When flash connect vault- wait, okay, wait, what? Flash connect voltage accumulates to 75%, it's at 100%. G enters the flash connect state while under the state holding down. Basic attack will activate basic attack. Enchanted moonlit blossoms continue holding the button to launch five consecutive rush attacks. Upon letting go of it, basic attack triggers a finishing move ahead of time. When you're getting enchanted moonlit blossom finishing move hits an enemy, it applies subjugation, which increases the target's stun damage multiplier. Hello? Triggering finishing move, so we can even stun it as well pretty easily. Okay. Oh, I just did it. <laughs> you can just spam this all day, every day. Just wait for it 75, it's yellow, and now I just hold the thing and then do that. And then spam my thing, and then you just automatically, infinitely- Bro, she's broken! She is broken! She's actually- I think she's broken. Yeah. Wait, let's see what her ultimate is, lo looks like. Here comes the first. <laughs> and that just did an automatically updates those enemies, guys. Okay, cool. Hey, okay, Corin, do your thing. Great. Okay, cool. Bro! Understood. Hope again. Okay, do that. <laughs> she's actually a lot of fun. Oh no, she's up. She's a lot of fun. Okay, that was a counter. Oops. I want to see what her dodge. They. Oh gosh, I didn't see you there. Come on, attack me. Okay, let's do a uh, switch yeah. counter. Nope. I'm here. Do the yellow thing. Do the yellow thing. Give me. Nope. Yellow. Nice. I'm just gonna let that go. Spam, spam, spam. Okay, so she took damage there. So that's like the only concern is that you might spam this and then constantly lose HP and it, I wonder if you can get interrupted pretty easily. But, look at this. I'm not getting interrupted at all. Oh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Did I just cancel the chain attack? Hold up. Did I just cancel the chain attack? I thought chain attack cancellation was going to come out in the next patch. Okay, wait. Cancel! Oh, we can cancel them now! Perfect! Okay, sorry, Corin. There we go. That's a new thing that was added.
I, I can I can just do this all day. I don't I don't I don't even mind. Cancel. Sorry, Corin. <laughs> She's so spammy. I love it. Okay, so I think the direct comparison we can make for her is to Anvi because they're both stunners. Anvi doesn't stun. Well, okay. Anvi, I don't. I, I would have to do, have both of them and build them probably, but I think Shingy is just going to be a uh, power creeps Anvi already. I think she's a lot more easier because you just spam her, whereas Anvi, you need to do her com like combo and time her EX skill or her skill within her normal attack rotation, whereas Shingy, you just spam. You just spam until you see the little yellow bar go up, and then you hold your normal attack, do the thing, and by that time, your EX special skill is probably loaded, so you do that and then rinse and repeat until you daze the enemy and then you chain attack. It's pretty easy. It's actually pretty, pretty, pretty easy. So, for example, comparing Shinyi to Anbi, Anbi, you have kind of two combos. One is the easier one where you just do her normal attack until you unlock this yellow thing, which is has the decent, like, AoE. But the one, in my opinion, that gets better days and possibly also does a little bit more damage is this one. Wait, wait, let me just wait for them to do... And I'm gonna cancel this, and then there. So then you get more electric attacks out of um, them. Also, they changed the U the UI. Look, they have like that electric thing a little bit better. And then the problem about that is that it gets you're more easily interrupted, and you kind of do a little less damage because you're not doing electric damage, and you usually have like the electric bonus on the um, on the disc drives on her. Uh, between both characters, you probably won't be using their ultimate, so I don't feel like a set, uh, comparing to both of them is any different. I think they both look fairly cool enough. Shinyi being in S rank, I probably think is a little better, but that shouldn't surprise people. So yeah, that's kind of my assessment between the two, especially since they're both stunners. But I think yeah, Onbi is a power crap. But since you get Anbi for free, I feel like this is okay. And I think um, the other thing that Shinyi has over Anbi is that she has better, like, oh, what's the term? Why am I blanking on a term? But she can, like, go to enemies. She can reach enemies from a distance a lot quicker but with her charge attack, whereas Anbi cannot, unless it's, like, a counter. Right, and here's another thing about, like, uh, canceling chain attack is that that was so much better. So instead of, like, activating... So what I did there with the chain attack is that I canceled the initial one so that I could finish Anbi's combo to get more electric damage on it and then it propped again immediately and that's when I want the chain attack to proc. So that's actually a really good thing is that you can kind of finish your combo or your normal attack string before activating the combo which I think is really good because I feel like sometimes you lose out on DPS. Like I feel like I do that pretty often when I'm playing with Ellen. So I, I, I think that's a good thing. 